Yeah, that that was a good that was a good uh, job of everybody on the D staff, Rob and T Knight, uh, coming up with some things that they thought would be would be effective, and then uh, to go along with the coverage in the back end, you know, trying to trying to mirror it up. We knew we were going to have to mix it up a lot, you know, with what they do on offense, and um, that was just a good plan by the guys, and then great great execution by the young men on the grass. Uh, I think the key with anything on defense is to make sure that it is si in its simplest version so the young men can absorb it and then they can execute it on the grass. You know, that's the that's kind of the word that's that's being used around here this week is the execution part because uh, so many times on the film you see guys are literally six inches away from making game-changing plays. Well, how do you do that? You know, you got to – you got to focus a lot more on the execution part, you know, and, and making sure that they truly understand the why. Why do I have to be tilted at this angle? Why do I have to be tighter on this tackle? What am I expecting? And so those six inches are the difference between a 40-yard bomb we give up or a sack cost fumble game-changing play. So um, I think everything goes down to the, making sure that we, we install things in its simplest form so the young men can go just do it on the grass and understand the why. Oh man, they're they're physical. I mean, I, I this is a school that that I got a chance to compete against a couple times at, at one of my my old place, San Diego State, and they are always physical, no matter no matter what. They are a physical group that uh, that plays up. They went to Boston College, and and I thought they they physically got after them. Um, so they're going to come in here, and you know, I would think they would do the same. Especially, it didn't help that you know they didn't have the showing they wanted last week. But that's just more fuel for them to to get up and correct and and come in here and play play with their hair on fire. So they're going to be a physical bunch. They uh, present a lot of different personnel groupings, a lot of different formations. So it'll be a challenge. What are your thoughts this week about your guys' physical play, ability to play physical and tackle? Yeah, I think they're they're just showing again. I, I keep saying this, but they're they were trained from day one when we got here to, to, to do those things. You know, they're athletically gifted. Um, they, through the course of, of the time being here with Coach Campbell and, uh, and uh, Kristen and everybody in terms of getting themselves into shape and being able to, to be their strongest, most explosive version of themselves and then coming back here and then, uh, again, installing defenses where they feel like they can just go play the football game and then going out there and doing it. So I, I thought that, you know, it, it can always get better. I mean, we're nowhere near where we need to be, but um, it is it is a good feeling when the guys do it and then they they, they gain validation that, hey, I, I can do this. You know, I can do this r routinely. So that's kind of cool. Having been a part of implementing this team at a couple different schools, several different schools, where do you see, like at this point, and as the first season goes on, the, the progress uh, I mean, I would think that that part of it. I mean, we we came in with the, you know, creating a defense here that, I mean, again, I I, I say the same things, but it, it's really true. You got so many great minds. I mean, they the what, the stuff that they did at Carolina and Baylor was awesome. I mean, some of the best defenses in the country. Then they take it to the NFL. Some of the best defenses in the NFL, mixed with the things that that I got a chance to learn from Coach Long and all that and develop. And so that's why, you know, I keep coming back to this defense here that's like a, a mesh of it all. You know, I think it's something totally different, something totally new. And, and again, it's a good feeling that we're all able to come out with ideas that the young men can absorb and go out there and play fast, represent the, the black shirts uh, the way they're supposed to be represented. No, he, you know, he did some really good things in the spring. You can see his versatility. You know, you can see it early that he can play all three spots. Um, you know, he was just a guy who kind of did everything right. You know, you just – and to his credit, he he just keeps getting better. He just keeps growing, you know, and it's, that's the, 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 the process kicking in. You know, he is leaned up. He is stronger. He's more explosive than he's ever been, you know, and then – he comes in here and then just, like I said, slowly just making making plays here and there where you're like, hey, okay, let's see, let's see. And then the the when he got up the credit on, on the special teams, when you watched him on special teams against Minnesota, 
and the things he was putting on the grass, and you're like, hey, Coach was like, hey, this guy, this guy needs to play. And sure enough, throw him in there, and, and the guy balls out. So that's totally him. That's him believing in the process and then putting putting some some ac activity behind it, you know, doing the extra. He's always up here meeting extra. You know, he meets special teams extra. And now he's playing ball, and he's having a great time doing it, you know, being a great teammate, all that stuff. So it's really cool for him, cool to watch. No, no, it, it's been it's been gradual because, like I said, you you can see the flashes. He he was doing making plays in, in spring ball, making plays in fall camp. The play that I think really showed like okay, this dude belongs on the grass was he he ran down on the kickoff uh, against Minnesota and coach showed it on the whole team, and he must have taken on two or three blocks, and I mean he destroyed the blocks and made a solo tackle in space on on kickoff, and I'm like that's that that was. That's impressive. You know, p people don't do that. You know what I mean, so he's he showed he's ready to play, and coach was like, "Hey, man, let's get this guy on the grass," and that's what he did. So, really cool. Yeah, I mean, he, he you know he's strong. He's strong enough and physical enough on the line of scrimmage, and then uh, when we do do our blitzes, he's got a good timing and a good feel to to you know, slither his way through there on all those blitzes and stuff. And then, you know, the other aspect is coverage. You know, you gotta be able to cover whether it's man to man or whether in zone. And so like him being able to move around and stuff, you know, sometimes he was Coach Rob did a, a really nice job moving him around. And so that way you really get a chance to see all the different versatility he brought to the game. And so um, um, him him doing that again, it's it's something that it's you wouldn't have said that when you first got here. You know, you're looking back on tape and stuff, and you're like, oh, "Yeah, there's no tape of this guy. What is he? What is he?" You know, da da da. And then, like I said, man, here we here we are, some months later, and he's doing he's he's doing the things that uh, that someone who believes in the process and really really lives the process. Now he's here making plays.